Hey Math 31, I had a question on section 3.4, number 41. So this was asking us to decompose h of x into two functions, f and g, such that their composition gets you back to h of x. So what I'm being asked to do is come up with two functions, f and g, such that h is equal to f of g of x. So here's our end game. How do we get there? Well, when I look at this, I think of this fraction as the innermost function, and then this radical as the outermost function. So that helps me define g of x and f of x, because whatever's in here is your innermost function, and then you've got your outermost function. So I came up with, well, I'm going to let the radical be the outermost function and the fraction be the innermost function. So let me show you that this is working. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and look at f of g of x. All right, now how this works is instead of g of x, let's go ahead and put what we selected for g of x in those parentheses. So this is going to become f of 2x minus 1 over 3x plus 4. All right, so now the rule, I'm going to take whatever is in these new parentheses, and now it's my g function, but the rule for f is whatever's in there, just stick it under a radical. So let me go ahead and put that fraction under a radical. All right, and that, sure enough, is equal to h of x. So I have decomposed h into two functions, f and g, such that their composition gets us back to h of x. And there are other solutions out there. To me, this is by far the easier or the easiest one, but I encourage you, go ahead and play around with it and find another set of functions, f, of, f and g, such that when you compose them, you get to h of x. All right, thanks so much, guys. Bye.